Well, all right, all right. You know what time it is. It's cooking with what you have in your kitchen. Go Team Smith. Now, here's something different I'm going to make today. I'm going to actually go through a lot of these boxes. This is some New Orleans-style dirty rice mix. That doesn't look too hard. We're going to see if we can put that together today. You know, like you be getting stuff at Popeye's and all that other good stuff. And you get the dirty rice. And just for that little quarter cup of rice, you're paying like $3.00. But it's small, and you say family size, and it's actually a one cup of rice cooked, and uh, you really lose out. But uh, the thing is, uh, we want to make some dirty rice today, and we're going to try some of this New Orleans, New Orleans dirty rice mix. Let's see what we got to have here. This should be cool. Stove top or microwave? Oh, I'm going to go stove top today. So I'm going to need in a three-quart saucepan. Combine two and one half cup of water and one tablespoon of vegetable oil, optional, and heat to boiling. All right, so basically, you got to get you some ground beef. I put like a half a pound or a pound of ground beef in the skillet and start browning it. You know, the actual dirty rice is made with liver, but uh, people don't seem to know that, you know, from Chicago. And uh, we put ground beef with it so people can stomach it. So here's the ground beef that I got all, all fried up and all sizzled down. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually drain the oil, or you can keep that oil because they said use one tablespoon of cooking oil, and might as well have it with flavor in it. So I put a little black pepper in that anyway. You know how we gotta add just a little something so you can get the smell in the house of the cooking. So we're gonna actually. We're going to add the two and uh, one half cup of water. We got the, the vegetable oil in there already because it's off the ground beef. I got it 75% lean, you know, 25% fat. So I'm going to keep some of that fat. So when you do that, all you got to do is uh, reduce the heat. Let me see. They say the rice mix. Cook, cook and drain ground beef. Return to a boil. And reduce heat, stir, cover, simmer over to a low heat about 25 minutes. So that's a two and one third or two and one half cup of water. And you're going to add to this. And then you're going to mix in the little seasoning packet that comes with it. Now, be aware that when you open this box, that packet is not going to cover that rice. It's going to be loose rice and a packet in it. So when you try to pull it up, it will just let loose on you. <laughs> I learned that a little while ago. My countertop was full of rice. So uh, I'm going to add these things, take some steel picks, come back, show you the progress of it, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. But, you know, we actually, I'm not really supposed to be doing two videos in one, but I have to because this pot right next to it happens to have something to go with it. Some beans. Some pinto beans with turkey meat in them. Turkey meat in them. Let me stir this a little bit. Let me try to stir this a little bit. Yes. Yes, you can see the seasons in that. I want those nice and swollen up. And I got turkey meat inside there. You see that? And that's nice and soft. But see, I take the turkey meat. I boil it first for about an hour and a half, two hours. And I take them out, the heated pot of boiling water, then I add the beans, because I don't want the meat broken all up inside the beans. You know what I'm saying? It's all broke up, it looks stringy, and it looks, you know, yeah, I don't like it like that. I like it where you can identify the meat separately from the beans, even though they're boiling together. So that's what we're gonna have. We're gonna have some New Orleans, Style dirty rice. Bam, there goes the ground beef. I'm gonna add the other ingredients and get to boiling it down. And I'll show steel picks when that's over. And the pinto beans to go with the dirty rice. And I'm not gonna tell you what else I'm cooking. I'll come back on my next video. I'll let you see. So anyway, we'll be back. See you later. All right, all right, we are back. Here goes step two. I'm coming with you. Thanks for joining in. And this is cooking with what you have in your kitchen. But we already done step one with the New Orleans dirty rice. So this is the second step. Getting that water to boil around that ground beef. And you know the next step, they say, you know, they'll add your uh, tablespoon of oil, with which the uh, meat already had oil on it. I said, well, I'll just keep that. 
and uh, I'll just pour in the rice from the box and see how that works. Put that rice in there while it's boiling. Now I got the fire up to get it to boil it. But I'm going to turn that down to a simmer. You know what I'm saying? Let me put the little flavor packet in here. Put the little flavor packet in there. Come on, crumbly, crumbly. Put that in there. Now, we're going to stir this up. We're going to stir this up. And I'm going to stir it. Get it together. Because that's the seasoning inside. It's going to mix with that ground beef. It's going to get that rice nice and tender. So we stir that up. This is what dirty rice looks like before it's finished. And like I say, the real New Orleans style, you know, they uh, use liver. So I'm going to use ground beef like they say on the box. I don't want to turn people away. But uh, somebody must like liver. They still sell it in the store about uh, tons. So we're going to do it like this. We'll be back in 25 minutes to let you see what it looks like after it simmers down and turns whole so we can mix that with those pinto beans and that turkey meat. You know what I'm saying? I got a few other things I'm cooking today, but I'm going to put it on. The, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to put it on another video and stay tuned for cooking with what you have in your kitchen and we are out. Well, all right, all right, we are back, and it's been 25 minutes, but while we was waiting on 25 minutes, guess what got ready? My nice pinto beans and turkey meat. That's what I'm talking about. All of this got ready while that was still simmering down. You know what I'm saying? Look at that thick gravy. That's what I'm talking about. Not that see-through water. That water looks like it's got straight roux in it. <laughs> you cook those beans down so they can render the thickness to your pot. Now, let's check on our dirty rice. Let's pull this lid off and see what we got. Oh, look at this. This is all right. Now, I'm using the same spoon because it's cooking with what you have in your kitchen. And this is exactly what I have in mind. Just this big old spoon here. And you see how that came out? That's nice and flaky. And I'm gonna let it sit for a while. And it's really it's gonna swell up and dry up a little bit more. And uh, this is the New Orleans style dirty rice. And it doesn't look bad at all. Yeah, it doesn't smell bad at all. I don't have to add anything to it. I'm just gonna see what it is straight from the box. And we see how it tastes. And you can doctor up later if you can think of something else to put in it. And uh, you know, bring make it more interesting for you and your family. But uh, as for me and mine, I'm gonna try it as is first. The next batch I make, if I come up with something different, I'll shoot another video and show you. But until then, happy Saturday. And this is cooking with what you have in your kitchen. You see how that's falling apart? Yeah, that's not gummy rice. That's fluffy, flaky rice. So, enjoy your day. Thanks for tuning in. I'll show still pics after this. Shame to yourself. All right, all right. You know what time it is. It's Go Team Smith cooking with what you have in your kitchen. As you can see... We've got everybody, except for over there, everybody <laughs> opening their styrofoam containers and eating some good food. You done? Lord have mercy. Jesus, this guy is slower than fast. So how you feel about the meal, fellas? How you feel about it, sir? Oh, man, it's so good, man. I might have to save it for later, man. Oh, man. I, no, I ain't going to save it for later. Right, man. I like for you to zoom in right now. <laughs> I want you to see that I am... I'm having a hell of a time <laughs> to try and take down. I got dirty rice with ground beef in it, and I got pinto beans mixed in with that, along with a chicken patty on the side and a polo sausage. You said chicken patty? No, that's a turkey, a chicken turkey, Let turkey me tell chicken. My story. That's yeah, a that's to. that's a camel on the plate. <laughs> Is that a camel with a hunter's back? I see one. Set of two friends right there, teeth friends right there. He got a hump in his back. He got, he got, look at Nevertheless, zoom in, zoom in. It's bite your finger good. All right, thank you, sir. And it's from Goat Team Smith's kitchen. Yeah, cooking with what you have in your kitchen. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> that sounds like exactly what you said. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what we're doing today on this Saturday. We're having a band practice. Maybe we can get a video in before we stop. 
and uh, post that bad boy up on YouTube. Y'all got to give us some hits on there. Start liking us. Come to subscribe. Check us out so y'all can see what Soul Brothers do on the weekend other than shoot each other up and make people come up missing. That's what I'm talking about. You might even want to invite yourself to a plate. Oh. I will. Every now and then I get something. Watch out now. <laughs> <laughs> and we are out. Go Team Smith. Cooking with what you have in your kitchen. Go, Go Team, Team Smith. Smith. Plus, that's Ron and the crew, so you know they got my back anyway. Peace.